Super Bowl dreams are on the line today in the conference championship where only one team can move on. It's the Bengals going up against the Aviators. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State, the former Spartan. It's Kirk Cousins. Here we go now. Ah! On third down, Cousins is going to let this one go deep. And that's caught inside the 35. Make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage. And From the red zone now, Cousins. They complete it to Hill. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Ball, you get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Give them a lot of space to throw the underneath stuff. So they decide they take advantage of it and work down it hard. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jordan Matthews from four yards out. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Back to throw here. Complete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's got Sanu. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. In there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Now they'll run it on the toss. Room here to run. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Running people in the secondary, that led to a really nice game. They go play action here on first down, and he's going to drop this off to his fullback. 39, 39. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's caught at the three, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. All right, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Now they send a man in motion right. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Bengals are going to get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. But his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. They'll drop to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Stephon Anthony coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean... And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. And the play clock's running down. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught at the one. And did he get the football to break the play? No, he did not. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He set up very well for the rest of the drive. Play fake. Cousins. Wide open receiver complete. Off the play fake. Cousins. He's got time. 
And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Third and short yardage. Cousins looking for someone to throw to. Great protection. And he dropped it. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. He does receiver hit and hit hard. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to cut it back left here. Down the numbers. There he goes. And touchdown. A great play there. 57 yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to find a little space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got room. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown! A big play there as the first half is winding down. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Now that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Want to quiet this crowd and turn things around. All right, here we go. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is brought in at the 21. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position there on third and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got Sanu. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Often against an offensive tackle, sometimes a tight end, they can't let themselves get a hook and let him running back get outside. Because if they do that, that hurts the integrity of the defense overall. My man, the encyclopedia. A nice gain of 21 yards. On first and goal, Dixon. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Second down, goal to go from the six. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Kenneth Dixon, a five-yard touchdown run. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. And they drew up the counter there. It worked. They're glad they drew up the counter. And a lot of times what you're trying to do is just simply get the defense moving in one direction. It doesn't take much. Even one step's enough. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This will be taken at the 10. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Left first. Left first. Check, 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 check. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to his left. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And he takes this down deep into Cincinnati territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 52 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Flushed out right. Hard throw, incomplete. Tash will have to cut this at a tight angle. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. A first down throw for Cousins. To the right side, and he's got Macklin. Complete. Cousins now on second down. And Matthews has it right side. Jordan Matthews all by himself. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. 
Jordan Matthews, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals are able to cut into this lead. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll set up a throw. Connects with Sanu right side. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throws right side, and that's complete. Touchdown! Their dangerous wide receiver with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like him? And his pride has kicked in, made a terrific play. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Excellent game. Here we go now, watch your nap, Barney, Barney. Desperation time, Cousins on fourth down. Looking to start for Woods, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Alert, alert. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. From the red zone now, Cousins. And this is caught. Jeremy Macklin. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll throw again. Cousins. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. Here we go. Green, 39. They go play action. Cousins can't find anyone open. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.